gon' get these drinks out here I got money so they put it in the bag I'm pulling off all the tags and pulling off in the jag Fuck being broke, it's broke, niggas is mad Get a job with your broke ass and get it out the hoes ass I go fast when I'm riding through the city lights I'm from the Bay West Coast with your city like New nights, fresh jeans and a snapback Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel I know y'all know what today is You know what day of the week it is Like, are you not looking at your calendar? Mm hmm because mm -hmm. it's definitely wednesday so you know what that means you see me with my bougie cup so you know it's wasted wednesday okay i just want to give a little disclaimer if my energy is a little bit off it's because it's that time of the month so i'm going through it but i'm gonna push through and get these stories out to y'all okay because as y'all can see from the title Oh, y'all ain't even go over my drink. Okay, so this is Peach. And I got a video that's going to come showing y'all how I made this. It's all peach with sweet and sour mix. So I'm, I'm, it's real peaches blended, frozen peaches that's blended. Peach, white peach mixer, sweet and sour mixer, and tequila. We gonna call it. We gonna call this jamming peach. Cause that's just what popped into my mind. So that's what we calling it. Jamming peach is real good. I'm giving it a nine out of 10. It's real good. Okay, so y'all, as y'all can see from the title, my friend kissed my crush. So if you've been watching all my videos, y'all gonna know two of the people in these videos. We're gonna be talking about Lee. Lee was in my catfish video. Lee was also in the video. My friends was stalkers. She was one of the friends that was stalking the boy. She was my friend who was with me when I went on that little catfish ass date at the movies. And like I told y'all, I'm going to be doing a little series, The Neighborhood, which was her neighborhood where hella shit went down. So this is going to be one of those stories. Um, and Toby is in this story. So if y'all watch that video, I snuck contraband into jail. Y'all know who Toby is. And I know what y'all thinking. I know what y'all is thinking you like wait a minute hold on when did this happen y'all i was in middle school and this story the ashnut contraband i'm not gonna tell y'all what age i was but i was in my 20s y'all i'm saying in my 20s like i'm not still in my 20s i am still in my 20s <laughs> okay bye so in middle school you like what Mm, I'm going to say fresh middle school. So I'm going to say 12, 13. I'm going to say 13. I was like 13 in this story. So I know what y'all think. Like, bitch, you didn't know this nigga that long. I know him longer than that. But yeah. So at this particular time, I had a really, 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 really big crush on toby and i mean he act like he ain't know but he knew but whatever it's whatever you know how boys be but lee for sure know she for sure knew because i would talk about him all the time and she knew i was coming to her house i mean it was lit over there but everybody had a crush on lived in her neighborhood <laughs> So, girl, you know what? She knew I had a crush on Toby. Like, everybody basically knew who knew who knew who was around, knew this. Okay? So, all right. So, this particular day, um, school went cool. We was all at school first. Toby went to my school. And at the time, Lee was still going to, my, to our school, too. And... It's another person in this store. We're going to name him Corey. He was, we was all going to the same middle school at this particular time, I think, still. So, I had... Ooh, was this that year? Mm, 
I think I had a class with Toby and I had a class with Lee. Not the same class, different classes. And I think I did have a class with Corey. So I had a class with all three of them at different times. But I knew all three of them at this point and they all lived in the neighborhood, okay? So school went cool, school was lit. We had fun at school. I didn't really kick it with Toby at school. He kicked it with his friends. I kicked it with my friends. I used to get on the bus with Lee and go to her neighborhood. Now the bus driver would be tripping sometimes, but after a while they was just like, all right, we on the bus, it's cracking on the bus, you know, all the back, lit kids, we in the back, I'm in the back, we in the back, we just going crazy on the bus, talking shit, you know how the boys be talking about girls, uh, talking about the lame niggas on the bus, the nerds or whatever, throwing paper balls, all that good shit, all that shit you see on TV, was we was really doing on the damn bus. The bus driver probably hated us because we was crazy on that goddamn bus, jumping up and down, walking up and down while, while the bus driver was driving, all that shit was going on. So we get to the bus stop where they let all the kids out in the neighborhood, we all get out and this is when we used to really kick it with toby and his friends and other people in the neighborhood so they was like all right we're gonna go home put our stuff down and y'all coming back outside we was like yeah you already know you know i'll come back outside that's why i'm over here it's for you like but i can say all that we was just like yeah we're just gonna go in the house uh probably blow down the house i think this is when i first first started yeah we'll meet y'all back outside so we go to um lee house we go inside her mom's there her mom's girlfriend's there i think her sister was there her sister's girlfriend was there we you know we just say hi to all them everything cool we put our stuff down probably grabbed something to eat blew the house down chitter chatted with her sister and her sister girlfriend for a little minute and then we heading outside i'm ready i'm like girl you ready you ready? Because I'm ready. Like, <laughs> mommy, mommy, mommy is going to be outside. I need to be outside. I need to be seen by my men. I mean, I don't remember what I was looking like this day, but it, I probably thought I was looking cute and I probably wasn't back then, y'all. My fashion was off. It was a lot of shit going on. I didn't really have the money like that at that particular time to really be getting all the kind of stuff. But we're going to get all, all that kind of shit later. Okay, anyway, so I'm ready to go outside. My boo finna be outside. It's not my boo, but you know what I mean. Toby about to be outside. I need to go see Toby. Duh. And it was other dudes there that would be with him and his friend groups that had little crushes on too. They was cute. But Toby, Toby had me. He had my attention like yeah i tried to really keep it low key but i don't know i i, I don't know y'all so like we went outside toby and corey they outside it's just them two that day yeah so we see them walking around we go over to them we talking to them you know doing a little flirty shit you know hitting them you know how you hit a boy you hit a boy they run or they hit you you run that's how it started but toby and his friends was a little aggressive okay they used to take things a little far but at the time i used to just think like that shit was cute but now that i'm adult and i'm thinking back on it if a little boy was doing that to my daughter i would want to beat their motherfucking ass and have them locked up for real for real so yeah y'all we walking around with them we just doing bad shit playing like doorbell ditch like they would throw shit at people cars houses i mean i would do it a little bit but not really like the doorbell ditch i would do you know shit like that or they're gonna knock on bang on people window and shit and we all run on that i would do but when it came to like throwing shit at people car i was not doing that shit like i was not doing that shit i'm not doing it i'm not doing it okay so they doing that shit they throwing shit at people cars we gotta run and hide and shit we hide behind bushes we hide behind parked cars we like running up in people's fucking yards and shit hiding and shit because people was like stopping because you just got things say you drive and you see a bunch of kids and boom you hear like a noise at your fucking window and you notice something was thrown at your fucking car you gonna fucking stop so all that's going on 
we kind of walked by Lee's house. We wasn't in front of her house, maybe like a few houses down. I don't know. We was just like in a space where there was like sidewalk. So we sit down on the sidewalk, me and Lee, uh, Toby and Corey, they just kind of like standing there. And Lee was that friend who wanted all the attention. Like I wanted the attention, but I wasn't thirsty for the attention and I wasn't going to do too much because I was still like mellow, quiet, reserved. You know what I mean? I do a little ah, but not ah, ah. Lee did, it, did a lot of ah, ah, ah too fucking much all the time like she didn't even have to like this person and she would flirt with them she would just do the most so we just sitting down she starts like laying down on the grass so Corey gets on top of her and when he gets on top of her like she's laying down he gets her arms with his legs and like locks her in like where she can't move her arms and he just started like banging on her boobs like a drum <laughs> and he was like oh look at me i'm playing the drums i know y'all real childish we in middle school i know it sounds real fucking childish because it is like it was just the most i don't even fucking know shit to my young ass mom I'm like, ooh, I want, I want Toby to do that to me because that's my crush. And I'm thinking he going to do that to me. We going to fall in love. We going to live happily ever after in this fairy tale ass life. I already have planned for him and me in my goddamn head. Okay, so I'm like, oh, let me do the same thing. So my young, dumb, naive, retarded, wanting to be low-key thirsty ass did what she did, y'all. Yeah, I did. I did it. I did it. I laid down and I was just like, okay, is Toby gonna do the same thing? I'm just okay, do it to me, do it to me. And lo and behold, he did. And he was just like touching on my boobs and stuff. And I, in my head, I'm like, oh my fucking god, like my crutch is on top of me. And he touched me. Like, he loved me. We in love. Like, he want to be with me. And this is going to be my man, my man. And we finna live happily ever after. And we going to grow old together. Okay, this is what I'm thinking in my head. But on the outside, I'm fake trying to play it off. Like, get off me. Get off me. When I'm just like, yes, yes. Stay on me. Okay? But in my outside, I, could, I couldn't look thirsty. So, I had to, like, play it off. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So he just all into it, feeling it. And then Lee kind of get, get over the situation. So she kind of pushed Corey off of her because I don't know what it was with Lee. I don't know if she liked him or if she did not like him. I don't, I never knew who she really liked it or who she really did not like. Cause like I said, she just liked the attention. She would just flirt with anybody. And it always just seemed like if a nigga I like was giving me attention, she wanted that nigga attention. And I'll just be like, bitch, you got a nigga right here entertaining you. Like, why you want the nigga that I like? like it's, it's enough to share? No, she was a greedy bitch. She wanted all the niggas. So she kind of like get a little irritated with Corey being on her. So she, she kind of pushed Corey off of her. Because Lee wasn't like big, but she was like a little thick for our age. You know, she's a little solid. So she yoked Corey up off of her low key. She pulled Toby off of me, like real hating ass. Like, girl, you know I want him on me? Like, boo. And I was just like, yeah, get off me. I'm trying to play it off. Like, yeah, girl, get his ass. Like, get him off of me. So we low key started like chasing him and shit. Like, we was mad. I mean, to me, I wasn't mad, but you know. We got to play it off. You know what I mean? So we like chasing him around the neighborhood or whatever. Just doing bad kid shit. So y'all remember when I told you about the story where Lee, I forgot what I named my other friend, maybe Shay Shay or something like that, was stalking the boy. And remember I told you I, she had liked it, the boy over there, the other boy, not the boy they was stalking. 
and I started flirting with him and shit and liking him because she did something to the boy I like. Okay, this is that story. I know that was just a whole lot, but I'm just, y'all got to understand a lot of these stories connect to each other. Okay, so you got to connect the dots. Okay, and, and it all come together and you're going to be like, oh shit, wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. I see why she did that. I see why that happened. Okay, so if you need to go back, go watch the, Go watch them three stories. Go watch my friends with stalkers go watch i snuck contraband into the jail and go watch i got catfished okay and then yeah like i said we was walking around the neighborhood and shit doing bad shit again all of a sudden you know i'm like flirting with my crush lee just gets it's like she was jealous she was like she was jealous so she starts flirting with my crush she started flirting with toby and i'm just looking at her like bitch are you fucking serious corey right there i'm not finna flirt with corey corey was not my type i did not like corey corey was just a homie i never looked at him any other kind of way like mm -mm. i'm just looking at her like you know when you just like to your friend like girl what is you doing like i'm just like girl calm down like what is you doing i'm just giving her like that stank look like bitch what is you fucking doing i ready to slap your ass why is you flirting with my crush in my fucking face i try to do a little much so i'm just like i kind of hit toby so he can start like messing with me because i'm just like no don't mess with her mess with me you is my crush you is my man you was just on me we basically married like what is you doing like this is infidelity like you flirt with her like no why would you do that so here we go in this little cycle again where we doing this little run around ass shit and she's flirt but this time she's like hitting on toby so toby can run after her and try to hit her back and grab her and shit he was like pulling her hair and shit and i was just like oh bitch i don't remember what my hair was like at that time but it probably was like i used to wear my hair y'all Ooh, mm, my hair was not hairing it was not hairing my mama was putting perms in my hair. It was not hairy. Either my hair, I tried to do like this little curly, this little curly crunch with the mousse, but you know, my hair was perm. So I tried to put the mousse and scrunch it so it could look curly like the little Mexicans and white girls would do. My hair was too short for that. It was, it was, and I didn't know how to do it right. So it was not looking like how I was supposed to be looking or i have my hair in this little tight ass little ass ponytail one or the other or no y'all i used to do this slick back look like almost like Halle Berry, but it was not Halle Berry. it was it was not Halle Berry, okay but it was like the three styles i would do because my hair was short and it was permed it was damaged it was like ugh. and it was it wasn't toby couldn't put my hair he couldn't put my hair it, it, it wasn't hanging and swinging like it is now it wasn't doing all of that for him to grab on and you know like shit like that so i'm getting like so fucking jealous i'm just like bitch what is you doing i kind of like pull her to the side i'm like lee like you know I, you know you know i got like a little little crush on toby what is you doing like we talked about this like what is you doing sis or girl like girl what is you doing stop she was like we all just having fun like it's not that serious you know i don't like him i'm like okay well then act like it flirt with uh corey ugly ass i mean corey went ugly but he wasn't toby bitch you flirt with that nigga okay she was just like, you know, you just tripping like, it's not that serious. And I'm like, to me, in my head, I'm like, bitch, it's that fucking serious. That's my husband in my head. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, bitch, I ought to slap the dog shit out of you for saying some shit like that. Like, like Lee knew how much I liked it, Toby. Like, that was like my friend. We hung out like every fucking day. We talked about every fucking thing. Like, she knew I had like this low-key, like, 
obsession with Toby. Like she fucking knew this shit. And I'm just looking at her like, bitch, you foul as fuck. Like, come on now. Like he really just flirting with me. And oh, like, come on. Like, why is you ruining this moment for me? I'm just like, damn, you fucking hate. But I had a lot of fucking hating ass friends. Okay, like, so. It is what it is. Y'all, we get tired of running and shit. So we do that same shit where we go sit back in that little spot by the little grass. Lee lays down and she's like, ooh, Toby, come here. And I'm like, I just fucking had to talk with her. Why is she calling my crush name? Like, what is she doing? He came over there and she didn't really say nothing, but he did that same shit. But this time on her, like he got on top of her and started like banging on her boobies and i'm like what the fuck like y'all my fucking heart sank like i wanted to cry so fucking bad but i was just holding in them tears i was like bitch you better not fucking cry you bet not fucking cry y'all back then everything made me cry i was so sensitive and fragile because of all the shit i had been through in my life i was just it was bad i was i was a bad cry baby that back then I'm just sitting there because I sat down too, but I didn't like lay down. I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what is girl? What is old girl doing? We and her, I just had, I just pushed this to the side and had this conversation with her. And it's like, oh, she like, let me turn it up a notch. Like, bitch, I ought to slap the shit out of you and Toby because husband, what is you doing? What is you doing? Why is you only get the fuck off of her and be on me? Like what is what is going on? Like what is you doing? So I'm just low key looking mugging like. Then Corey comes sit next to me and try to get on top of me, y'all. I, I, get the fuck. I was like, don't try that shit with me. And he was like, oh, but you let Toby do it. I was like, I ain't in the playing mood. I don't want to play no more. Like I ain't, I ain't on that hype. Like I'm. Mm, I'm tired. Like, no, don't even fucking try it. Like, he was just like, damn, calm the fuck down. And I'm like, uh, no. Why would you try to do that shit? Like, what the fuck do you, like, nigga? And he looking at me like, bitch, you was just letting Toby do that shit. Like, why is you acting like, girl? And I'm looking at him like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Toby can do it to me, but you can't do that. Y'all, next thing I know, Lee leans up and she kisses my crush. She kisses Kobe. I mean Toby. She kissed him. Like, mm. And then she did it again. Mm. And I'm like, what are you doing? And she was like, oh, I'm just having fun. And I'm like, I get up. I'm pissed. I'm mad. I'm furious. As y'all know, I'm a Taurus. Like, it's so fucking hard for me to control my feelings. And then when I feel like I can't, like, express how I feel, it just boils up inside of me. And it explodes in any kind of way. I can explode in anger, sadness, excitement. Just something's gonna explode out. So I'm just like, this bitch got me fucked up up y'all i want to cry i just want to cry i want to scream at this point i'm ready to go home i want to fight this bitch i'm ready to knuck and buck with her ass because now you being disrespectful now you playing in my face now you trying to show me that you can take my man that's not my man but you can get my crush and then you gonna kiss him bitch i didn't even kiss him yet i'm just like i cannot believe just linked up and kissed him and I can't believe Toby didn't jump up off this hug like what the fuck is going on here so I'm just standing there looking at them I'm pissed I'm mad like but I'm trying not to show that I'm mad but again I'm a Taurus you gonna see it all in my face and I'm boiling the fuck up I was like Lee you doing too much I was like you doing too much like why would you do that like you doing a lot and Toby's looking like you know, he just shocked that she kissed him. And I'm just like, I'm like, this is a lot. I'm like, I'm ready to go. Like, I'm ready to go home. And she was like, why are you ready to go home? I was just like, I'm just ready to go home. Like, can we just go back to your house? 
so I can charge my phone and call my mom to come pick me up because I just mm -mm. I ain't feeling it. Get somebody else to fucking do it, bitch. Because I'm about to beat your motherfucking ass. Because why dare you think you can kiss my man? That's not my man. But my man. <laughs> like, girl, you, you... She knew. She knew. She knew. She be trying to play like... She be always trying to play like she didn't know. But she fucking knew. Because we talked about it many times. Bitch. So, yeah, I was a party pooper, and Toby just looking like, I ain't got nothing to do with it. And I'm like, you do got something to do with it, because when she linked back up the second time, your motherfucking ass should have jumped the fuck up and moved, nigga. And I was just like, Toby, why would you let her kiss you? Because, y'all, okay, me and Toby been friends for a long time. So, at the end of the day, this is, like, my friend. You know, like, me and him, like, hella cool. Like, even at this point, even though we were, like, young, like, we would talk all the time. Like, on the phone and stuff. Like, I could call him. He would call me. We would just, like, talk and have, like, regular conversation. So, maybe that's why he didn't think I really liked him. Because I never, like, acted like I liked him. But I did. But, like, everybody flirted with everybody. So, it didn't really seem like, okay, anything special probably to him but it was to me but like i'm glad nothing ever happened between me and him and we just stayed like really good friends because he was like a really good friend like we really just talked and shit all the time like we we would talk about like the dumbest craziest things that you probably wouldn't talk about with other people okay yeah with no judgment so i'm just like why would you let her kiss you i'm like you don't know where her mouth been and she's like what the fuck you mean and i'm like girl like what i said like Because at the end of the day, I knew Toby longer than I knew Lee. But me and Lee was closer than me and Toby. But me and Toby was still real cool with close. So I hope that all makes sense. But still. So basically, they was both my friends. They was both my best friends in my eyes. Because at that time, even, you know, that was, that was, he was like my boy best friend. She was like my girl best friend. But I'm just like, bitch, like, nigga, like what the fuck is going on here like why would y'all play like that in my face lee was like what is the problem like why are you always doing too much like here you go because y'all i would throw a tam temper tantrum all the fucking time when shit didn't go my way because i just don't know how to control it because why it's not going my way this is shayla's world like it should go my fucking way period <laughs> like girl bitch what the fuck did you talk about i'm just like this is just a lot going on i'm just ready to go home i'm like you can stay but i'm about to go back to your house and charge my phone and call my mom and i'm about to go because mm -mm. so i start walking off and toby he walked up to me he was like best friend what's wrong like what's wrong shayla like why is you why is you mad i'm just like nothing i'm just like i'm just ready to go like lee she always doing too much she always doing this shit like like it's just too much sometimes i'm just like it's just too much really i just wanted to be like why would you let her fucking kiss you you is my man bitch that's what i'm at walk the fuck away because really i'm ready to cry like i need you to walk away because in like 2.5 seconds i'm about to bust down in tears and i'm about to be crying so i'm just like you know she just be doing too much and he was like you can't even be tripping off that like just let it go it's not that serious and in my mind i'm like it is that serious but i'm just like it's whatever i'm just i'm just ready to go like i'm tired it's been like a long day i'm just ready to go so i'm like i walk off from him like i give him like that like i don't want to be bother i don't want to be talked to so i walk off y'all and then as soon as i got in enough distance to where nobody was like looking at me and seeing me like walking next to me i just started crying i was sad as fuck like my little heart was broken i just could not fucking believe my friend that knew i liked it toby kissed toby in my fucking face two times and it was like i swear to god y'all i swear to god y'all it was like when she kissed him she looked at me like Bitch, I kissed your man. Bitch, are you fucking kidding me? Like, 
I wanted to beat her motherfucking ass. I wanted to grab her by that motherfucking hair, wrap that shit around my head, and drag her motherfucking ass. But I was like, okay, had it. I'm just gonna go the fuck home. So I walk off, like I said, I'm crying. I get to a Lee house. I walk in, her mom's like, what's wrong? I'm like, nothing. I'm just, it's just a lot going on. I'm just ready to go home. She was like, oh, it's okay. You want me to call your mom? They probably like had like a house phone or she let me use her little cell phone. And I was just like, yeah, I just want to call my mom. I'm just ready to go. My phone's dead. Yada, yada, yada. So somehow I call my mom and I'm crying on the phone. My mom, my mom was so fucking tired of me in this motherfucking neighborhood, y'all. And I got another story where my mama pulled up and was about to go nuts on a motherfucker. <laughs> I got y'all on these neighborhood stories. It was just too much. It was too much. It was too much. But... I'm like, mom, can you come pick me up? I'm ready to go. And she's like, I know you ain't calling me crying again, ready to get picked up from over in the neighborhood. I'm like, yeah, I'm just ready to go. Like, I'm asking you be here. Like, girl, shut up. You said all this shit. Like, why am I crying? It don't matter why I'm crying. Get in the car and come get me, like, now. Like, girl. I'm just like, it's just a lot going on. Can you just please come get me? I'm ready to come home. And she's like, but why are you crying? Like, what's going on? Like, she trying to figure out she need to pull up and be ready to fight and knock a motherfucker out because she fight kids. And I'm just like, no, I'm just, it's just, can you just, I'm just talking over, like, not answering the question. I'm just like, mom, just come on. Just can you come please pick me up? Like, now, like, I need to get the fuck out of Lee house. Cause I'm about to fuck slap the fuck out of Lee. Cause she fucking playing in my face right now. So it took my mom a little minute to get there. So I didn't even want Lee came back to her house. She's asking me like, what's wrong? Why am I mad? Why am I crying? And I'm just like, Lee. You know why? You know I like Toby. Why would you kiss him? Y'all know what this bitch gonna say? I didn't know you liked him like that. I talk about him every day to you. Basically. Almost. Damn near. What the fuck do you mean? You didn't know I liked him like that. I had a conversation with you. Before you kissed him. Like literally. Before you kissed him. And I told you like you know I like him. Stop flirting with him. Let him flirt with me. I want him to flirt with me. I chew. Like, you stop flirting with him because then he flirt with you back. And I don't fucking like that because I like him. You don't like him. Or do you? And if you do, she should have said that. But she wasn't saying that. She liked him. But I liked him first because I knew him first. Period. And I just want her to stop talking to me. So I just fucking walked up out of her house. And I just started walking down the street because I'm just like, bitch, right now, bitch, I don't fuck with you. You was a snake, bitch. You be doing this funny ass shit to me and I don't fucking know why when I be a good fucking friend of your ugly ass. She wasn't ugly, but I'm just saying, you know, when you just talking shit, you just be saying anything. Lee wasn't ugly, but bitch, in that moment, you ugly on the inside. The fuck? Because why would you do that shit? Like, you know, I fucking like Toby. Yeah, but y'all, my mom can't pick me up, and I went home, and I probably put on Spongebob to make me feel better, or Chowder. I just seen it on something, and I was like, ooh, Chowder was my shit, too. Between Spongebob and Chowder, y'all, I would get lit, and I would watch them shows. Like, I would be fucking dying laughing. <laughs> Chowder was funny as fuck. If y'all never watched that little show, I forget what it's on. Google and see what what tv network chowder is on that show is funny as fuck i used to watch that in spongebob and be laughing my ass off it would cheer me up from any fucking bad <clears throat> Ooh, my voice going out any bad day i had them shows i would put them on and that still would matter i get my little kiki ha ha in okay and then go to sleep real good real peacefully but yeah y'all that was the time my friend kissed my crush in front of me and then looked at me like haha 
yeah but i hope that story came out good like i said y'all my energy is not the same it's that time of the month for me like i'm irritated i feel like a goddamn water buffalo right now so it is what it is and like comment and subscribe if you want to i'm doing another giveaway once i reach 700 followers i'm looking at the people who comment so make sure you're leaving a comment it could be a dot it could be a chicken it could be a hey it could be a bye it could be like girl i don't like this but i still watch the video you could be like hey girl i like to be anything everybody that's in the comments i'll put your name on a little spin of the wheel it's gonna spin the wheel and it's gonna pick a winner because i can't pick one myself because i don't want to pick every fucking body and i just can't do that but i appreciate all the love y'all been giving me i love seeing y'all comments i try to reply to everybody so yeah and if you got a, a youtube as well let me know say girl check out my youtube so i can check out y'all videos i love watching videos while i'm at work because i'll be bored sometimes and i'll be needing something to listen to and i know i didn't finish my drink so let me finish my drink oh shit i think i have a brain for you but yeah, y'all, that's the end of my video. I know y'all say y'all like when I be rambling. So I hope y'all had a good fucking Valentine's Day. And y'all got some gifts from your man or your lady. Or whoever or whatever. Or if you ain't dating, I hope you did something special for yourself. Because you can do special things for yourself. You don't need nobody else to do something for you. You could have bought you a little gift. Did something when shopping. I don't know. But... You can make your own self happy. You don't need somebody else to do things for you. You can do things for yourself, y'all. And when I used to be single, I used to go on dates by myself. I would go shopping by myself. I would order things off of Amazon and put it as like it was a gift. So sometimes they would give wrap it or I'll leave a gift message. And when it come, I had like a little special note and it made me feel good. Like I know it might sound weird to some people, but whatever makes you feel good you need to do it and if you sending yourself a gift with a gift message you might not remember that you even did that shit and then when you get it you got this message in there and you're like oh shit like wow it could just break your day so if you've never done that before you may want to try that if you're not dating someone or your man ain't doing shit for you or your woman ain't doing shit for you order you something and if you could do a gift option, do the gift option, write yourself a nice little motivational quote or something that makes you feel good, you might forget about it. And then when that package comes and then you see that little note and you read that note, you're going to be like, oh shit, like what's, and it's going to put a smile on your face and it's going to make you feel good. And life is about feeling good and living in your purpose and doing everything that makes you happy. So when you're feeling down, when something's not going your way, when somebody in your life is not, you know, fulfilling you, you need to think about that. Life is short. Time runs out fast. Like you need to be living your life to the fullest. You need to be doing things that make you happy. You need to be doing purposeful things. And if it's you don't know what those things are, just try new things, look up ideas and try to figure out what's for you you may try something and it may not be for you and that's okay y'all i didn't even mention my nails glow in the dark i don't know how i can show y'all but they glow in the dark <laughs> you know at night i was thinking i was not gonna be on my stuff so i was thinking at night if i got a little freak nasty with my men they'll be glowing in the dark but ain't shit about to be going on because it's that time of the month so yeah but i look cute i kind of like these i know i had told you i was gonna do two pigtails a minute ago and i wasn't even planning on doing two pigtails i just did this because i wanted to and it, i just wanted it i don't know i don't even know what the fuck i was doing but it, 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 it's doing something it's doing something and i don't think i showed y'all my nails in this video Sometimes I be thinking I'm going too fast because I be tipsy or I be wasted. Like right now I'm wasted, y'all. That drink was kind of strong. Okay, but yeah, it's doing something, very much something, something-ish. But I'm ready to lay down, so... 
yeah, and I know I'll be wearing the same lip combination in all my videos because this is my favorite lip combination. I'll be trying other lip combinations and it don't fucking look right. So I'm not doing it. I'm going to do what looks right on me. The pink with the brown lip liner is me. So I do a brown lip liner. I do a pink lipstick. And then I do a pink lip gloss on top. And then that's, that's, that's me. Or sometimes I use brown lipstick in line and then pink lipstick and then pink lip gloss or like a glitter gloss but that's it or i would just wear straight lip gloss like on a regular day i'm just wearing regular just lip gloss i cannot wear no other type of lip style like it does not look right on me and now one video when i was like i didn't like how i looked with my boyfriend i had tried to use like this one lipstick on it, it Y'all seen how my fucking lips looked? I did not like how I looked. And it was because I tried a different lip combination. Like, and I tried. Hey, y'all. So my phone ran out of storage. So there's no technical ending to this. But like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Deuces.